Hi guys and welcome to another video where we are going to talk about the opportunities of mining data uh, from the social media. So the key opportunity for, of developing data mining system is to extract useful insights from data. The aim of the process is to answer interesting and sometimes difficult questions using data mining techniques to enrich our knowledge about a particular domain. For example, an online retail store can apply data mining to understand how their customers shop. And through this analysis, they are able to recommend products to their customers depending on their shopping habits. For example, users who buy item a also buy item b this in general will lead to a better customer experience and satisfaction which in return can produce better sales many organizations in different domains can apply data mining techniques to improve their business some examples include the following in banking identifying loyal customers to offer them exclusive promotions or recognizing patterns of fraudulent transactions to reduce costs or in medicine it could be understanding patient behavior to forecast surgery visits or supporting doctors in identifying successful treatments depending on the patient's history or in retail, uh, understanding shopping patterns to improve customer experience, or improving the eff effectiveness of marketing campaigns with better targeting, or analyzing real-time traffic data to find the quickest route for food delivery. So how does it translate to the realm of social media? The core of the matter consists of how the users share their data through social media platforms. Organizations are not limited to analyze the data they directly collect anymore and they have access to much more data. The solution for this data collection happens through well-engineered language agnostic APIs. A common practice among social media platform is in fact to offer a web API to developers who want to integrate their applications with particular social media functionalities. So an application programming interface or API is a set of procedure definitions and protocols that describe the behavior of a software component, such as a library or remote service in terms of its allowed operations like inputs and outputs when using a third-party api developers don't need to worry about the internals of the component but only about how they can use it with the term web api we refer to a web service that exposes a number of uris urls to the public possibly behind an authentication layer to access the data. A common architectural approach for designing this kind of APIs is called representational state transfer, also short, uh, shortened as REST. An API that implements the REST architecture is called RESTful API. We still prefer the generic term web api as many of the existing api do not strictly follow the rest principles and for the purpose of these uh, tutorials a deep understanding of rest architecture is uh, not required so that was the section for opportunities and next we'll look at challenges so see you in the next video